everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm really excited to introduce everyone to someone really special and very talented and someone who I've been watching on Instagram for quite a few years now this is Anita Van Dyke Hi. <laughs> And Anita is a zero waste expert. Um, not only has she written her first book, um, A Zero Waste Life in 30 Days, she's also incredibly inspiring on a minimalism level, in a, I guess, a, an authentic life, a life of simplicity. And I'm so excited to share with everyone like, your words of wisdom and see how we can apply these principles in our own homes. Now, first of all, can you tell me a little bit about a zero waste life in 30 days? Yeah, so a zero waste life is a play on that word, a truly zero waste life. So it's about reducing your waste by 80% in 30 days, which is a huge amount. Mm -hmm. But also it's about not wasting your life away. So not wasting your time, your resources, your money, things like that. It's so fitting and I'm so comfortable talking about this because um, like for me wastage really irks me it irritates me and it also like shows a complete um, disrespect and um, waste of money mm. and I also think that with waste it becomes huge distractions and it depletes our energy mm. I know that when I put the bins out every Sunday night um, I get I sort of make a mental note as to how full the bins are and I try and like reduce my been um, level like each week. Mm. So you kind of read my mind because one of the first challenges in my book is to actually do a bin audit. So I want you to go home and put on your reusable gloves, mm. not your disposable ones, mm. and go through your bin. See what the frequent flyers are. Are they disposable coffee cups, plastic packaging? Is it, God forbid, even clothing? What are you throwing away mm. so you can make some sensible switches in the future? Okay, great. Now, for someone, like, I feel like a lot of, this is a big movement, mm. and I feel like I have conversations with my friends about like packaging, excess packaging, wastage, wasting money, like this is a hot topic. Mm. For the everyday person like myself who is really interested in, in reducing their wastage, is leaning in, but just simply doesn't know where to start, can you share with me five like easy um, tips like to apply immediately today where I can actually see my waste is reduced. So I like to keep it simple. So five tips is great. So the first tip I'd like to say is food waste. Mm -hmm. So did you know that over one third of the waste that we throw away is food? Mm -hmm. So the easy way to do this is what I suggest for everyone is to put an eat me first box mm -hmm. in your fridge. Yep. So on the top shelf of your fridge, mm -hmm. put a box, a plastic container or a cardboard container mm -hmm. and put your lonely bananas in yep. there, your sad looking mm -hmm. lettuce leaves or whatever it may be yep. to let the whole household know to eat me first. And even maybe label it so yes. people don't forget. That's yeah. right. And I do label it. I say, please eat me first yes. on mm -hmm. the container. Mm -hmm. Nice big writing. So the whole household knows to eat those produce before it goes off. So you're preventing food waste in the first instant. Um, the second tip I like to suggest is to start making your own cleaning products. Okay. So that you know when you go home mm -hmm. and go through your kitchen sink and your bathroom sink mm -hmm. I'm sure you have about six or seven different products there. And this is something I've been trying to do myself I keep on failing and bit, you know and it also those cleaning products are really expensive. Really expensive. Full of a lot of nasty chemicals. Yeah. They take up a lot of space in a, in a cupboard. Absolutely. Look I'm studying medicine and some of the ingredients in those um, products I can't even pronounce. So we right, shouldn't okay. be putting that, <laughs> about it that way. Yeah, like we shouldn't be putting that on our skin mm. and in our homes where our dogs and our toddlers crawl on. Mm. So this is my DIY citrus home cleaner. Okay. So simple, costs less than a dollar to make. And that would I imagine would last quite a long time. Last so long. So what it is is 50% vinegar, 50% mm -hmm. water, soak it two, three days um, with some citrus. Um, wrap, um, citrus uh, peels, so it could be lemon, orange, whatever you have. Lime, yep. Yeah, whatever you have. Okay. And then fill an old pump bottle and use it as an all purpose cleaner. Three. The third tip is also start making your own beauty products. Okay. So, a product I want to introduce you to is my brown sugar, olive oil, and coconut scrub. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's delicious. And you can upcycle old jars as well to I do love it. it. They look so pretty as well. It looks like it's something out of like an Etsy yeah, photo shoot here. Yeah, great. Thank you. Um, so you use brown sugar mm -hmm. because what we find in the store-bought exfoliants is the thing called microbeads. Mm -hmm. That's what the little balls of exfoliant are. Mm. So you're paying, you know, your generic brands are quite expensive yeah. as well. But they also contain plastic in them. 
What? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so mm. you know the exfoliant part of yeah. your hair are called microbeads. So if you think about it, you spend five minutes doing your little scrub mm. and then you wash it away down the sink. Mm. And where does that end up? In our waterways. It looks like plankton to the small fish. This, yeah. Oh. And then the small fish are eaten by the big fish and who eats the big fish? We, we do. do. And that's why I've been hearing about all these like studies of there's so much um, fish, uh, so much plastic in the fish, and I wonder this is where it's coming from. Exactly. So, it, it, uh, you know, our beauty products should not literally or metaphorically cost us the earth. So, yeah. this little scrub, mm -hmm. and you don't have to do it with brown sugar, you can do it with coffee grounds. Yeah, which uh, is a great. I was just telling Nita, Rocco for Mother's Day at his daycare made me a beautiful coffee um, body scrub. Yeah. It looks like dog poo in a jar, <laughs> so people must sit with it in my shower and think, what is that? No, but it smells but delicious, it is, right? It smells delicious, yeah. and it, it's actually the best like body scrub, obviously I haven't tried yours yet, um, that I've ever used. Yeah. And he made it, like it's a gift from a heart, which is also zero waste. Exactly, yeah. and it's so cheap. This costs less than $2 to make, and you can use, you can even get your coffee grounds free from your local barista. Mm -hmm. So you, if you don't have coffee at home, mm -hmm. just ask them at the end of the day for their coffee grounds. Mm -hmm. And it also acts as a great fertilizer, so double whammy there as well. Okay. Four. Tip number four is what I like to say, um, save money with your everyday plastic. So mm -hmm. the out and about category. Mm -hmm. So one thing I like to do is carry a zero waste kit with me at all times. Yeah. And this tackles the big four plastics. Mm -hmm. So plastic bag, plastic drink bottles, mm -hmm. disposable coffee cups, and plastic straws. Okay. So Ooh, plastic straws, that's a good one. Yeah. So all of those can be replaced with reusables. Mm -hmm. My favorite of which is water bottles. Yes. I have, I have a water bottle like this in my car, it comes with me to work, I could go to the gym. I'm, and Rocco is very strict on it as well. Like that's been really great seeing that trend go into the younger generation. That's fantastic. Absolutely. If you get yourself a stainless mm. steel drink bottle, mm. you can reuse it, fill it up from the tap, mm -hmm. and you're good to go. You're saving $3.50 for every plastic bottle that you don't buy. So $3.50 for every, okay, wow. Yeah. And also, I, I like, um, I've spoken about what people will know how or genuinely um, passionate I am about zero waste is those coffee cups, yes. um, the thermal coffee cups, because when you get, do, it actually keeps your coffee hotter for so much longer. Yep. Um, it's so good. Yep. Um, and again, you're like not, because people think coffee cups are recyclable, like the disposable ones. They're not. They're it's, not. They're it's lined so, with plastic. I wish like officers would have like bans on those takeaway coffee cups and give everyone one of those thermal coffee cups. Yeah. yeah. That brings me to my fifth and final tip, which is also not just to use your everyday zero waste kit just for say storing coffee. Mm. So a perfect example is your, you know, your reusable coffee cup. Mm. I also use it to store my snacks. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, so clever. Mm. So I put nuts in there, mm. uh, I put um, fruit in there, mm. I put protein balls, whatever I have at home. So you, when you're out and about, instead of paying $3, $4 for a protein ball or $3, $4 for a plastic wrapped muesli mm. bar, which is full of sugar anyway, yeah. I just have my little snack cup to go. You must save so much money. I save so much money. And people always ask me, does zero waste living cost uh, me more. In and fact, not, yeah, no. Not. I'm saving yeah. money, I'm saving resources, and I'm saving the planet. Win-win. Okay. Win. Alright, how do you feel about that? I feel so good and I think the principles that I've learned from you in terms of uh, being money wise and also minimalism, I've really embraced that in my zero waste living as well. And with this whole movement of combining minimalism and zero waste, I feel lighter. And it's like you can be proud about being responsible and showing that you care and love and respect and value the environment. Like yeah. There's so much emotional benefits that come from doing that and feeling in control of your finances, making responsible decisions when you do use your resources to buy things or use things. Like there's so much wholesome um, goodness that comes from, you know, minimalism, being mindful with money and you know, reducing your wastage. Absolutely, and it's a ripple effect. Because not only do you feel better, you're contributing to a greater cause, so doing something for the planet. And other people can see that, so you're leading by example as well. Actually, 100%, because I always say energy is contagious. Yes. So if you can like vibrate at that level, you will have a powerful impact and inspiration on the people around you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming in to talk to me. I'm so happy to meet you in person, and I'm gonna ask, like, chew your ear off in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Click the camera off because this is so interesting. For anyone out there um, who's interested in reading A Zero Waste Life, um, I highly recommend it. 
I'll actually be giving away one of these copies so I would like you to put in the comments box below what is your your tip or your habit that you personally do in your home to reduce the amount of wastage and I will pick the best answer and send you a signed copy of this book I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I will also link Anita's details so you can get her book. You can also follow her on Instagram and see what she's up to. As I said, um, me following Anita, she's one of my, um, I guess, sources of inspiration for minimalism. Everything about you seems so like calm and like real and, and beautiful. And yeah, so thank you for inspiring me. Thank back. you. I feel like the same of fangirl <laughs> yeah. <women> too. <laughs> see women working together and holding each other absolutely, up. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, everyone, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do. And I will see you next week for Money Monday. Ciao for now.